when we're removing the top of a tree, there are a number of forces that must be considered. After we've cut the face notch and the back cut is made, the top will begin to move forward, pivoting on the hinge. As this happens, the weight of the top pushing against the stem creates a bending moment which pushes back on the stem. This bending moment is at its maximum when the top reaches 45 degrees from the vertical stem. Then when the hinge closes and the top breaks free, there will be an energy transfer. The magnitude of force and the effect on the remaining stem will vary. We want to avoid having both of these reaction forces taking place simultaneously, which is what would happen with a 45 degree face notch on a vertical stem. If we're using a block and rigging line to butt hitch the top, the system, including the tree, will experience two additional forces as the top comes to bear on the line and then slams into the trunk. If we're using a pull line set high in the top of the tree for leverage, it's very important that the ground workers do not pull too hard or too soon. This could cause the tree to be pulled forward, magnifying the forces that we've just discussed.